bless the name of the Lord today. As we come today to just give thanks and just worship the Lord and and just, you know, for all that he's yes. done, for, yes. for his protection, you know, with, with all that's, that's going on, all this violence and everything, um, we just thank God for, you know, for protecting us, for keeping us. And we pray for those families um, that have been affected by this um, and, you know, and, and the coronavirus as well. And, and we just, we just reach to the Lord because we, we need him right now. Each and every one of us needs him right now in these times. And, 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 and we just come today to just to just worship the Lord, to give him thanks, to, to, to just honor him for who he is. And um, and as we start the worship today, um, you know, thank God for you know for you for you know for tuning in and just worship with us, you know, as 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 as, as we just cry out to the Lord and, and you know for for his for his grace, for his mercy, you know, for, for all that he's done in our lives. Yes. And um, and we just thank him today. Again, as we come today to just worship and give him thanks, let me be blessed out there. Um, again, as we come together as one body to just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We just come before your presence today, oh God, to give you honor, oh yes, Lord. Father God, God to just thank you, thank you, oh Father, for what you're doing, Father God, in, in our lives, oh Father God, as we seek you, Father, yes. in spirit and in truth, oh Father. We just glorify your name today, oh God. And we thank you, oh God, for your grace and your mercy that covers us, oh God. Lord, we just worship you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name.
out there. Amen? Mm -hmm. The enemy's out there. Amen? Yes. I guess I get one amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. I just say things. And anyway, the enemy's out there. And I come this morning with a sad heart, but also knowing that what I need to do, amen, is brothers and sisters, Natasha, could you put the air? It's kind of hot. Uh, knowing that God is in control. And I want to give a shout out to everyone that's out there watching this video right now this morning. And those that might be watching later, we have our laptop now, thank God, in the back that we can uh, share the names of those that are watching. 
And I just thank you uh, for tuning in. And please stay with me. God has given me a message. And the message today is the areas of, of spirit activities. The area of the spirit activities that are happening right now, today, right now, even as I'm speaking right now. Amen. We know that these things that we have been watching on our televisions and and all these things that are happening and we're coming to our uh, those that are in our local churches today. I was driving up. I seen uh, some cars in some areas, so it seems that some of the churches are opening up. And probably we're all discussing the same thing, what's going on in our world today and in our nation and all the things that are happening. And it's just to remind us even more so or to remind us of how much we need God. Amen. 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 And I want to talk uh, today's message about these spiritual areas that we as brothers and sisters, as children of the Most High uh, uh, can identify with. And But remember that God has given us the word to overcome these things. Amen? Yes, amen. And I want to give a shout out to Nina out there. I know her leg. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, that you touch her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord. You know the area in her leg, Lord. I pray, Father, Lord, that this swollen will go down, Lord. Father, Lord, and I just pray healing right now. In the name of Jesus and anyone that's out there going through a physical pain or whatever they might be going through right now, I pray healing in the name of amen, Jesus. Yes. And everybody says, amen, 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 and amen. But let me say this, that the area of spiritual activities, and, 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 and I just want to highlight that. And we know that they are the three things, just like we know there's a Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is good evil and humans humanity amen i'm gonna say that again good evil and humanity these are the three spirits that uh we're uh i want to talk about this morning amen and now how we can distinguish the spirit of these three amen and put them in a category knowing that there is as i'm putting right now the category that there's good evil and humans our humanity of who we are. Amen? And you know what? It saddens my heart. It saddens... You can say the name. Tony, Tony Vegas. Uh, Tony Vega, God bless you. Say the name so I can repeat it. Amen? Uh, God bless you, Tony. But uh, let me say this, that uh, we distinguish that and put them in categories, as I'm saying, is there's good, evil, and humanity. Amen? And for many years... Of, uh, I'm sorry I'm reading down because I wrote a lot of stuff. Uh, for many years, some of us uh, thought that there were three or there were two. And I used to think that, amen? When I wasn't saved, I just believed there was good and evil, amen? There was good and evil, and we were distinguishing that because we didn't know, amen? That's why it's important to have an intimate relationship with God, but also studying his word so we can know when situations arise like this, as it's happening today. Amen? Uh, yes. But uh, we can distinguish this. But anyway, we know that there, there were only two at that time. Well, we were not saying which was either you're good or evil, right? Amen. Yes. But everything uh, leads back also to, there was, so to speak, black and white. You know what I'm trying to say? Black and white. But I... I, uh, but I know that there are three other categories, amen, which we all know because we know the Lord is what? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Yes. And to me, those three things are the opposite uh, of these, uh, two of these things anyway, which is one we identify again, which was good, evil, and humanity. But I say good, love, and what? Power, Amen. Good and love and power that God has established into us as brothers and sisters. Because I tell you, I was watching uh, Charles and those here and those watching me live. I was watching all the stuff that was happening. And you know, when uh, the Bible says, like I said, we fight against things up in the air. And, 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 and you know that, uh, I'm going to slow down a little bit, but we know that when there's evil, amen, and anger, who dwells there? Who dwells there? Satan. Amen. Good and evil. Who dwells there? Good 
dwells in good in, I mean, I'm sorry, in, in, in anger and in hate. Amen? The enemy, amen. Yep. Hallelujah. Amen. This always happens. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Excuse me a minute while I change my battery. Amen. Yeah, but this always happens to know that the enemy is out to kill and to destroy. Yes. And we know that because we read the scriptures, we know that that's happening. Amen. And it's up to us to take action and arise. Amen. Yes, Lord. As the Bible says, amen. Amen. I still don't hear nothing, Charles. I'm sorry, I'm going to be over here. Amen. Okay. So, you know what? It, it, it means that we have to arise, my brothers and sisters. Amen. And we know that we can pray. Amen. We can pray and we can too, but also we have to take action. Amen. That's why I'm here today, trying to take action through the social media. If I was in the area like that, I would try to be out there myself. To, to talk about the Lord, amen, and about love and peace, and to encourage. So I encourage those leaders out there and pastors that are out there in that uh, communities where all this stuff is happening. Uh, it's a time for the church to arise and, and, and prayer. You know, prayer is power, amen? We know that through the yes. scriptures. As we stand together, and then when there's a group of that, just start raising our hands and let us start praying and believing and fighting those demonic spirits that arise where there's, again, hate and anger. It just, it's just a place where just you can see the manifestation of, of, of the, the enemy, the demonic spirits, just going into people. Amen. Because it jumps from people to people. We see that in the spiritual realm. Amen. Yes. When you have an intimate relationship with God. Amen. And God is telling us that even as Jesus said, you know what? Uh, you will do greater things. This is an opportunity for all of us to get up and start speaking the truth. But also believing and trusting the word enough that we can stand together and just uh, aim our hands, amen and, and, amen, and call out in the name of Jesus and binding and loosing those things that are out there in that bunch of people that are just arising, that are the demonic spirits, amen, fighting spirit to spirit, amen. There are uh, three sources of the spirit, which is act, uh, activated, which is what? God, Satan, and humanity. Again, three things. God, Satan, and humanity. So we know that those spirits are out there. The spirit of man, the spirit of the devil, amen, Satan, which is evil that arises, amen, where there's anger, where there's anger, and where there's hate. Amen. Yes. You know, in the spirit, you can see them. And I, I mean, I'm I, I, I was watching the news and I was just, you know, extending my hands, you know, uh, in my room and, and over the television and just saying in the name of Jesus, I bind all these things. You see these young people that are trying to, that they're, they're standing up for their rights, amen. But also you see some evilness in, in some other people, amen, that are yes. doing the wrong thing, amen. And you know what? Again, we fight with spirits. Amen. And we yes. know that the devil loves to see a group of people in anger. Amen. <laughs> and that's why I'm saying we need to come out, out of our churches and go start standing and extending our hands and start aiming it towards that area and start praying in the name of Jesus. Amen. We often have to uh, uh, continue to bring forth what? Heaven onto this earth. And how do we do that? It's through me and you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Yes. You know what? Because uh, there were uh, also three sources, again, I said, which is God, Satan, and humanity. Often we have even a uh, concept of being, that God is being far away in heaven, that, uh, that, 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 that he's in the spiritual realm, in heavenly realm, that we can bring him down. But remember the word said that God is within us, and the power of the Holy Spirit is within us. Amen. And he dwells in this temple. Amen. Yeah. And that's the truth. Amen. And however, uh, the spiritual realm of God is all around us. Amen. But we accept them. Remember, when we accepted Christ Jesus, he came into us. Amen. He has not left. 
He's still there. Amen. If we continue to acknowledge him, he will acknowledge us. And what he said that whatever we ask, he will do. So we read these words. So let us start asking and believing and extending our hand and trusting. Amen. Yes. He said, whatever you lay your hands on, believe. Amen. And I'm believing. Amen. Yes. And, and he, Christ, Jesus, is in us. And we are in him. Amen. Remember that, that he's in us, but also we belong to him. Yeah. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 27 and 28. Again, Acts chapter 17, verse 27 and 28. Amen. And God did this so that man would seek him and prefer and perhaps reaching out for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live, amen, and move and have our what? Being. Our being. Amen. What version you have it? Amen. That's it. Yeah, that they should seek the Lord, if happily they might feel after him and find him, though be he be not far from everyone of one of us. Amen. For in him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. That's it. We're also what? His offspring. Again, God did this so that man would seek him. Amen. And reach out for him. That's what that's saying. And find him. Amen. And he's in us. So you know what? We got to reach out to the Lord because there's a realm of, of demonic spirits that are out here. And it's up to us to stand. You know, we got the coronavirus, amen, on top of us. What was the last count? Amen. Anybody knows the last count of how many have already died, amen, because of this coronavirus? That's why I asked you in the car. What was it? It's over 100,000. Over 100,000 people have already perished. Imagine now when you see these groups of people. Don't you see the enemies out there, man? He wants to snatch every soul that he can. Amen. I heard also in the news that an officer got killed also out there, and others may been injured uh, on both sides, the police and them. But, you know, it hurts my heart because, you know what, you can see uh, those that are walking in the street, you can see how the devil is just playing everybody. Amen. He's arising his ugly head. He's bringing those demonic spirits. Not to say that what the, the police did was wrong. Yes, but see, that's how the devil works. He'll take a few that he can empower, that, that, that are serving him, that have hate and anger in them towards others, and then he develops that, and he starts stirring the pot, amen, and look what's happening all over the, the United States. These things have to stop, but I always say that God allows things to happen for a reason, but also, God also wants us to intervene and believe and, and, and extend our hands and start fighting again. We don't fight against flesh and blood, we fight against spiritual things. Amen. Yes. And we got to come from that from that uh, 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 area is in the spirit. Amen. Amen yes. However, the spirit realm of God is all around us, as I said. And remember that God did this so that man would see him and perhaps reach out for him and find him. And, and through, through he is not far from us. Amen. Because we say he's omnipresence. I've said it many times. I believe it. I know he's in me. I know Christ is in me. So we know that we have power and authority. Amen. Amen. Yes. We have power and authority. The realm includes the spirit of God. Amen. That we're in. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to say that again. That realm that is in you, my brothers and sisters, and me is the spirit of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen yes. And you know what? And good and the good angels and other heavenly beings that are around us. Amen. Yes. I believe that. Amen. Even as these wings identify that God has shown me that you see here on this cross that, that Christ is the center, but those wings represent the angels. Amen. That are all Amen. around us. We're called saints, the Bible says. So you know what? We're covered. Amen. We have angels all around about us. Amen. Yes. 
And we have, again, I'm going to say this again, and what was what? That we have the realm including the Spirit of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and all these good angels and other heavenly beings that are around us here on this earth. Amen. Yes, amen. I believe that. When Christians, now, when Christians come together, and this is what I'm trying to get my point across, is that when Christians come together, we don't need to operate in uh, or in this uh, distinguishing uh, between the Spirit to know that God is there. Amen. Yes. We don't have to uh, 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 analyze it. We don't have to think about it because I know wherever I go, God is with me. Amen. I know that I can do all things through him that's within me, that strengthens me every day. We say that, but do we really believe it? And especially a time like this. So as even as I'm doing right now, extending my hand, I'm believing, I'm calling for peace in New York, with, uh, Washington, D.C., all these places and battling the enemy. The realm of hate and evilness that's uh, 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 coming to these young people. Amen. That's trying to devour them. Amen. Yes. And again, now as Christians, we must come together and start bombarding heaven as we're trying to fight the Amen. coronavirus. Yes. You notice how everything is happening for a reason. We can't go to our local government. Everything is out of whack, so to speak. Amen. But our God is still in control. Yes, Amen. Amen. And remember Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 says this. That where two or three come together in my name, there I will be. I am what? With them. Yes. Amen. Amen. Again, Matthew 18 verse 20. Where two or three come together in my, in my name, there I am with them. Yes. Amen. There I am with them. So my brothers and sisters, imagine just two or three, but imagine all of us coming together. Amen. That's what the enemy wants to destroy, y'all. He don't want us to come together. See, he don't want us to fellowship. He don't want us to uh, get empowered by the word of God. He doesn't want us to walk in the spirit. He wants to keep us oppressed with his foot on our neck, but we know that we have power and authority over him. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Because we have our, our, our human, our, our, our Jesus spirit, so to speak, the Father spirit. We're in that realm of the spirit, the Father and the Son. Amen. Amen. Yes. And the Holy Spirit that's in us. Amen. When we accept his promises, as truths. That's the important thing. We must accept those promises as true. We must be aware of his what? Presence. Amen. Amen. We must be aware of his presence. Amen. And then at other times we, but, I'm sorry, we must be aware of his presence and of his presence then and at other times that we're going through stuff. Amen. Yes. Jesus said, I'll never leave you. What? Or forsake you. Thank you. We say these words, we read these words, but do we believe it? Do we trust the word of God enough to say that? Amen. But we say, you know what? Because we know we're fighting against these things. The, the Bible says that people perish because of lack of knowledge. And this is why we must share the knowledge that God has done in your life and in my life to share it with others. Amen. I'm a little high. I hope you all don't mind. I'm just going to take this off. Amen. Because I want to share this. Amen. You know what? That uh, Again, God has given us the power. We are aware of what's going on. We are aware of God's presence in our lives. Amen? Yes. Let me also say that we know that others, areas of the spirit realm, include what? The devil. Amen. And all the, de uh, the, the demonic spirits that are in all parts of what? The world. Yes. Amen. Amen. He raises his ugly head, especially. Amen. Amen. There must be legions, and I say it in the spirit, legions of demonic spirits and of Satan himself. Amen. And these groups of people that are just arising their ugly head, instigating. Amen. And even as we've seen some movies that illustrate that so uh, powerful that even when Jesus was crucified, you could see Satan walking around behind people and whispering into their ear. 
crucify him. Before, when he went before Pilate, you could see Satan walking in the midst of the crowd and, and speaking into their ear and saying, crucify him. Amen. That's how he works. Amen. But we're aware of that, and I am, and I'm going to continue to believe in God's word, continue to pray the truth. Amen. Yes. We here at Love Wings Ministry Studios. Amen. Because the truth is the only thing that will set us free from those demonic spirits. Amen. That are trying to destroy and to steal the souls of our young people. And it hurts me enough that all this stuff we're going through right now, my brothers and sisters. You know, it hurts my heart. I was watching uh, the news and I was watching this girl on, on I believe, in, 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 in Facebook. And she was just sharing that this is the most important time in my life. I worked so hard to get this degree from college. And then she graduates, and she can't even, uh, uh, you know, she dreamed about the day of being in college and walking with other students and families there and, and just rejoicing, all these families rejoicing together as they see their young children uh, coming up. And, you know, not only that the child loses out, but the parents that work so hard and, you know, uh, 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 having... Uh, you know, uh, to do it over social media. Not that I'm not in social media, because I'm on it, thank God for it. But that experience is gone. They can never experience that. Amen. They can't even go to high school to their proms because of this disease. The schools are closed. Don't you see, my brothers and sisters, we have to get on our knees. We have to seek after God and, and, and fight. In the spirit, amen, claiming and binding and loosing in the name of Jesus. And the parents that, you know, work so hard and they want to see their child walk down that aisle up to the professors and, and be able to get their diploma. That was taken away from them. Amen. Even those that have been dying from coronavirus, don't even, the family can't even go to their funeral. They can't even say goodbye. Or, uh, things that are happening in this world. Let us wake up. Amen. Let us start fighting. Let us start coming together as brothers and sisters. Not about our denominations or this or that or religion. Let us come into love. Amen. Yes, amen. And start bombarding heaven and using the tools that God has given us to speak the truth. But also to battle the enemy. These demonic spirits as getting in our knees. Believing Trusting the word of God and believing that what we comes out of our mouth will accomplish what is set out to do. Amen. Not just speaking it. Amen. But doing it. Amen. Yes, amen. I refuse to give in to the enemy. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Amen. I hope yes. I'm touching somebody. Again, when we accept his promises as truth, amen. I believe the word of God. Amen. I believe that I can do something. Amen. Yes. Uh, no matter where I'm at, I know that when I pray, my prayer does not go unanswered. I know that when I bind and loose here on this earth, it will be bound and loosed in heaven. Amen. And imagine just me if we all come together and believe that yes. and start believing. But it hurts my heart to see what's going on, my brothers and sisters. It is time for the church to arise. It is time for us to, to take our rightful place, amen, and, and, and bombard as, the, the, uh, as we're bombarding heaven, but also bombard the enemy here that's here on this earth that's bringing division, amen, yes, amen. and hate, amen. Oh, Father, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. Amen. As we know that other areas, those spiritual realms include the devil and all those demonic spirits that are, are in all parts of this world. Amen. Now we have China, all these things, negative things about this country, this other country. You know what? The enemy loves that. He just wants to arise his ugly head and, 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 and bring war. Amen. Which yes. he's trying to do already here in the United States. Amen. The apostle uh, uh, Peter had made it very clear that when he talked about Satan, amen, he said uh, uh, he's all uh, around us. Amen. And we must, uh, 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 and he wrote this scripture. Amen. We got to be ready in action. But let us read together. First Peter Chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. And it said, uh, by be what? Self-control. Amen. And alert. Your enemy, the devil, plows around 
like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Amen. Resist him and stand firm. What? In faith. Amen. Where's my faith? Amen. In Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the word of God. In humanity. I believe that there's good in every one of us. It's just that we're fighting those spiritual things that are trying to hinder us with a demonic spirit. Again, 1 Peter chapter 5 verses 8 and 9 said, Be self-controlled. Amen. And alert for your enemy. The devil plows around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him and stand firm what? In faith. We must stand in our faith. You know, at the end of the day, I'm always saying, I'm going to continue to say it, that I will speak the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God, because I recognize that I can do nothing without God. Amen? I can do nothing without God. Amen. And when we start realizing that and, lo and allowing him, number one, to, to dictate our lives, amen, as we continue to walk on this earth and also to apply that word, not just read it, man. So a lot of people just read the word, man. It's believing it, trusting it, and living it. Amen. Yes. Believing, trusting, again, and living that word within us. Amen. We must live the word. We can't just keep playing these things that we're doing. Amen. And you know what I'm talking about. Amen. Yes. We got to be real with God. Amen. So when we speak, when we when we pray, when we uh, 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 stretch out our hands and we call out those promises that they would that they would manifest. Amen. Yes. And we would know for sure, for sure that God has heard our voice. Amen. Yes. He said that I've done, Jesus said, I've done everything. I give it to you. I'm going to give you the great comforter, the director that's going to help you. There's going to be a connection between my father, myself, and you. Amen. And I'm giving you that gift, which is the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. Those three things, those three elements that are in us. Amen. Amen, yes. Oh, hallelujah. And Peter had it right. we got to be alert. we got to be alert. We gotta be ready, Charles. We gotta be ready. Nina, uh, Nina out there, all of my sisters out there, brothers, amen, uh, Natasha, Victoria, I mean, all of us. We gotta be ready and alert because he's looking to try to destroy what God has given us, which is the spirit of love, the spirit of truth. Amen? Yes. Now, when we begin to operate, amen, when we begin to operate and distinguish between those uh, the, uh, between spirits, you will uh, uh, begin to have uh, the dis discerning and the nature and seeing, in, in other words, discerning those individuals or a person of a human spirit or of other spirits. Amen? Amen. I hope I said that right. You start distinguishing the nature of a person. Amen. Of, of a human spirit or of other spirits. Amen. Amen. Like I said, when you walk into a room or when you walk, remember that the presence of God is in you. Amen. And that's something that I believe. Uh, I've shared it so many times here that when we walk into a room, they're not to see us, but they're to see God. Christ in us. The Amen. love of yes. Christ. How we speak, even how we look. Because, you see, there's a power in that anointing, my brothers and sisters. I've been in rooms that I haven't said anything in groups of people. And people have come up to me, amen, and I'm pretty sure they have to you too, my brothers and sisters. There's something different about you, Charles. Uh, you know, you're too, so nice. That, that meant, must mean you must have a connection with God, amen, because how your demeanor is, how your spirit illuminates, amen. There's power, amen. We read that through the scriptures that even when our brothers would walk, people would bring out the sick and those that were demonic filled with spirit. And just by our brothers, Paul, all these brothers, the disciples walked by them, the spirit uh, left and the people were healed. Why? Because the spirit of God was so uh, powerful in them, the anointing of God. That has not changed just because we're in the 20th century right now. 
Amen. It's still there. Amen. That power is within you and me. We just got to believe it and trust it and walk in it. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let me say this. Now, uh, uh, again, distinguishing, because God will give you insight. God gives us the discerning spirit to know what that, what that person is. If it's a human spirit or demonic spirit, amen, we'll see right through it, amen. And this is what I'm saying. I was watching the TV, and I was looking not so much at, you know, what was happening, but I was looking at focusing on people and their reactions of anger and of hate. And I, you know, in the spirit, I see like an illumination of evilness, of just hate and anger that was arising from the, uh, you know, like a heat that was coming out, amen, in the group of those young people. And it, it bothered me so much. I just started uh, uh, weeping and praying and extending my hand over the television because they were going, and CNN, they were going from place to place, even the CNN building in the back there, they broke in there, tore the glass down. They were just standing against not throwing bottles and you could see the hate just, just you know, uh, like the smoke that they, those bombs or things that they were throwing. That you could see it just illuminating. Amen. I mean, coming out, amen, out of people. Amen. Oh, Father, help us, Lord. We yes. need you, Father. Amen. Now, uh, responding to the needs of the people, we must become more aware and also what sensitive to again as I was sharing to what the spirit the spirit of that person or persons amen yes. and not by the color of their skin amen yes. Yes. not by the color of their skin amen you know what because we all are beautiful amen and God made us like flowers all different colors all different shapes so we should never let that spirit, but that's what the enemy uses. Amen? Amen yes. The enemy uses that against us. Again, not to be by the color of skin of anyone or race or where they're from. Amen? Or even their language. Amen? They're all God's children. It's just God's priority of his love for all of us that he made us all individuals different, but at the same time he said that we were all made in his image. Amen. The Bible says that we were all made in his image. So we got to identify with that, with the word of God, and remember the word, and renew our mind, and apply it, especially in these times and season that we're going through all this stuff. Instead, and, and now, instead, how evil spirit is within them. And we got to bind them and loose them. Amen. And these, as our forefathers before us, as our disciples before us, what they did. Amen. They just started believing, laying hands, and saying what? In the name of who? Jesus. Of Jesus. Be set free. Amen. And that's what we need to do. It says to say what? Be set free. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yes. And we read, even as I was sharing before, in Ephesians, I want to give you the word today. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Amen. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against what? Rulers. Amen. Against what? Authorities. Amen. Against the power of this dark world. Amen. And again, the spiritual, amen, forces of what? Of evil. I'm going to say that again. Spiritual forces what? Of evil. Amen. In heavenly realm. Because he even tries to come into us. Amen. And we got to fight him every day. I have to. Amen. But I know how to do it. Amen. Because I know that God is in me. And he that is in, uh, that is in me will scatter the enemy. That will try to even try even think of trying to mess with me. Amen. And when we know that because I walk in the truth, because I believe it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. That is good. I'm saying. So we know that in Ephesians it tells us again that we're not struggling against flesh or blood, but against the rulers, against the authority, against the powers of evil and dark world that we're in. Amen. Amen. Yes. It's up to us to breathe the light of the world. 
and bring the light to the darkness. Amen. And illuminate those evil spirits that are out there. Amen. Yes, amen. That's what it is, my brother and sister. Jesus taught us about the mixed truths. Amen. Let me say that. Jesus taught us about those mixed truths, which is, again, I go back to what? Good and evil. Amen. And God said what? Cling on to what is good. Amen. When he gave us the parable, remember, of the kingdom in the word of God, he said, and he told us to grow together. Amen. He told us what? To grow together. Amen. I was thinking that what, that what is the most important thing Christ told us? Is to come together. Amen. Yes, to amen. grow together. That we would, uh, would remain together until the end of time. Amen. That's, that's what he was all about. My brother, he told us to grow together. Are we growing together? Or are we fighting each other? Amen. Are we uh, allowing the enemy, the evil things to come into us to even say that we hate one another? Amen. That's not of God. Oh, hallelujah. Father, help me, Lord. That's not of God. We're to love. We're to encourage. We're to build. The, why am I always speaking on love? Because that's what's mostly needed. Encouragement. Love. Not what race you are, how much you know, or what that we all God's children. That's what he's trying to say. And the devil's out here, man. He ain't playing, man. He's you can see him arising, my brothers and sisters. We gotta get on our knees. We gotta really start believing and praying and fasting and casting out these demonic spirits that are hovering. Amen. It's bad enough. Imagine now with all these people walking together. Coming together. I even seen in the news innocent people just driving in the car and people just bashing their windows. Amen. Don't you see? That's hate. That's the enemy. That's the enemy just trying to rise and take over. It's bad enough we know that this is a dark world and it's up to us to bring the light. It's up to us to stand as warriors. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Believe me, ask God. I wish I had the finances. And the abundance of, 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 of brothers and sisters. For we here, I love when we will reach out, amen, with everything that we have. When I'm trying to do the best that I can with what I have, amen. If I got to stand by myself, I'm going to stand because I believe. Even though all the stuff I've learned through my life is just to stand and believe. And not let no one disturb you from the calling that's in your life or in my life. We're to stand and believe and to keep walking forward. Amen. Amen. And yes. God will do the rest. Amen. As we believe and trust the word of God. Jesus taught us that about these mixed truths. What is good and evil. And we really got to examine ourselves and see where we're at. Amen. Yes. We have to examine ourselves and see where we're at, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Because he has taught us to grow together. That was his intention, that we would come together, amen, and that we would remain together until the day that he comes back. And that seems so hard to do. I don't know why. Because God knows I've tried, amen, and I'm going to continue. I'm not giving up and remembering those parables and everything that God taught us, Jesus taught us through his scriptures, amen. And he also taught us about these mixed truths that he gave us and the parable of the net and the fish. Amen. The net and the fish. And I want to go there. Let's go to Matthew chapter 13, verse 47 and 51. Again, Matthew chapter 13, verse 47 and 51. Excuse me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for your word, Father. Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fishes, of fish, rather. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up on the shore they sat down and counted the good fish, or collected the good fish in baskets, but the bad, but the bad, 
away, or thrown away rather, this is how this is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and again separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery what? Furnace. Where there will be what? Weeping and crashing of what? Of the teeth. Amen. Crashing of the teeth. Teeth, rather. Matthew 13, 47 and 51. Mark that down. Again, I'm going to read it one more time. Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net, my brothers and sisters, that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fishes. Big fish, color fish, black fish, yellow fish, blue fish. <laughs> Every color fish. And it, when it was full, the fishermen pulled them up and went up to the shore and they sat down and they started counting them, collecting them, separating them. Amen. And this is how, and, uh, and, 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 and this, this is telling us in Matthew, in this text, that, that the angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous. Amen. Amen. The wicked from the righteous. Now we know that the word says that we are his saints. Amen. Yes, we are. That we are his children. Amen. And again I say the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and also the angels that God has sent. Amen. Even as we pray, I pray all the time. Uh, Father, send the angels all around about them. Amen. Uh, set your wings over us. Amen. Uh, uh, protect our children. Protect our neighborhoods. Protect our cities. Protect our schools. All this darkness, this evilness is trying to, uh, you know, it's just manifesting from, we know that from this earth. Amen. You see? But we can call on heaven and bring it down into this earth because heaven is within you but within me, my brothers and sisters, as we believe and trust the word of God. That's what it comes down to. I'm simple. Amen. And I believe that. Amen. And as we govern ourselves, amen, and this city, and our states, and every country, then we would have all this stuff because we're fighting not only in the natural realm, the human realm, but we're fighting, again, mostly in the spiritual realm because it always comes down when we do something in the spirit of man. Even today, we, I mean, the other day, yesterday, I believe it, they sent two men up on a rocket. <laughs> Into space. Amen. So there's always the human spirit can accomplish a lot of things. Amen. But imagine if we put those three elements together. The Father, the Son, and the humanity of who we are. Because if we believe in God, we know that we were made in His image. Amen. Yes. And I don't want to be separated from God at any time in my life. Amen. Because I know if I'm separated with God, who, who, I'm, who I join with. Amen. Which is Satan, evil, snaggle to Amen. The evilness that's happening in this world and is up to us. I hope I'm helping somebody and I hope that I'm encouraging you because I come with one purpose. Amen. Sometimes we could just preach things about prosperity and our lifestyles and living a life of a Christian walk, but it's more than that, my brother. It's getting involved and, 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 and doing those things and standing firm that others will see because, again, we are the witnesses of Christ. Amen. And how do we conserve his power is to when we come together, grow together until the day that he comes. That's what he said in the parable. And that's been God's heart from day one, that we grow together and come in unity. Amen. And fellowship, most of all, with God and with each other. Amen. Even as I'm always saying that we're to have an intimate relationship with God, but also with each other, being concerned with one another. Because God, that's where our ministry started, those that God has placed around you, and to work together and grow together and, until Jesus come, and that we can come and do the things that God has called us all to do. There's power and strength when the, all the angels of God, all the saints, all God's children come together. We can change the atmosphere, my brothers and sisters. I believe it. Amen. And I'm asking all of us to come together. 
Amen. Like never before. And you know what? Because we can see the signs and the wonders that are happening right now. We see this coronavirus. We see this hatred. We see all this stuff is manifesting, just building and building up to what? To destroy us. Amen. That's what the enemy wants. He's out there destroying lives. Amen. And it's up to us as God's people, not just to preach it, but to live it and to take action and to arise and let the Holy Spirit that's within us come join together, spirit to spirit, calling on our Father to intervene. Amen. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. It is so important, my brothers and sisters. God is showing us the signs and how much we need Him. Amen. And how much, in other words, too, that I want to share, that it's how much we need each other. Amen. We need each other. We need to hold hands. We need to hold hands and come together in unity and in love. Amen. Even as we sang that song, we need more love, more power, more Him in our lives. Amen. There's certain songs I keep singing over because they're so powerful. And that says it all, my brothers and sisters. We need more love. We need more power. Amen, yes. We need more of God in this situation. Amen. And I'm praying and I'm asking all of you to stand with me, amen, as we continue to break these dividing walls, these enemy that raise up his ugly head to bring hate and, and destroy and killing people. Over 100,000, man, don't you get those numbers that are happening? And now all these people together working, how much more we're going to hear in, in, in coming days of people dying. And even in, as we see today the hatred that's happening and the anger and the, and the demonic spirits that are out there. Oh, Father, help us, Lord. Give us strength to remember your word. And I just want to end with this, that the parable refers to what? The saved and the unsaved. That's what it comes down to. Everything that God talks about is always about that parable ref referring to those that are saved, which is us, that we call ourselves saved, and those that are unsaved, because that's what matters at the end of the day. I can tell you, my brother said, we don't know the time or the place that when our ending comes or before he comes. So let us be awake. Let us be uh, uh, in, 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 in full ready mode in, in, in God's word in our lives, not just speaking it, but living it today, yeah. my brothers and sisters. And I pray that this message uh, has touched you. I pray that you share it with others. Amen. I've been praying and I've been asking the Lord to send those here. There's a few of them, but I'm asking those that are, 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 are caught the vision of uh, what I'm saying today that if we grow together, they will come and grow with us. Amen. So we could accomplish more things here uh, with this where there's a many, there's more strength. And I'm asking those brothers and sisters that want to come out. I'm opening the doors now. Those that want to come out to be with us here and, and to encourage, uh, just you can email me at lovewingsministry at gmail.com. Uh, we'll tell you our dates of service. And come and be a part of what we're doing. Or come encourage us, amen. And let's come together and let's pray. So we're opening up our doors, amen. Being cautious, but we're opening up our doors to invite those that want to come and participate. I don't care who you are. Uh, let me know, amen. Uh, just email me or those that uh, can go to Love Wings. Again, Love Wings in our Facebook page, amen. And, uh, and, and, and help us to continue amen, to yes. work here at Love Wings Ministry. I'm just here to encourage and to build up and to have a family of brothers and sisters that we can stand together and, and, and do what we can together here to, to minister to many. Amen. Yeah, yes. And also, I send the invitation out if I can be an asset or, or my testimony or whatever, or whatever I give that God has given me to come to your local church or groups, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to step out now and go out there and, and be an encouragement. I just want to encourage every brother and sister that I can. And I just want to talk the talk of coming together in fellowship. So I'm, I'm opening myself to those that are out there. I'll go out to whatever, your homes, groups, whatever, that I can be an encouragement to you. Amen. Uh, let me know also. Just uh, email me at lovewingsministry at gmail.com. Uh, my purpose has always been 
to share the gospel, the love of God, yes. amen, and to uh, build a family here at Love Wings Ministry, and to empower people, amen, uh, to, uh, as we empower each other, because I need you, you need me, and God said, let us grow together, even as I read in his yes. word today. So I give a shout out to every pastor that's out there. Uh, I'm available, let me know, amen, and if I can help in any way. Uh, you know, uh, communication is so important in fellowship. Uh, I, I'm always saying we can't do nothing about yesterday, and uh, but we can do something about today. And today we really need to do something because there's a lot of things that we see that are manifesting, and it's uh, through our love and testimony and our witnessing to uh, to be able to encourage and to build up. And that's what our purposes here are at Love Wings Ministry and uh, studios. Uh, we've been through a lot and we're struggling, but we've been going nine years and we're still standing. I still believe in the calling that God has called all of us in this parable of, uh, of uh, us coming together even as I said before, he had told us all to grow together that we would remain together until the ending time. Amen. And that's yes. so important. And I need your help and I know that is out there. If I can help you, that's how it works. We help one another to accomplish the, God's purposes here on this earth in our community. So again, I'm available. I really extend that out. And those that want to be a part of what we're doing here, please contact me at Logan Ministry. We sure need help. Amen. And we want to continue to do greater things and, and, and bigger things. And here, we're here for one reason, which is the fivefold ministry to build up and and, and, to, and to encourage. We need evangelists, we need musicians, we need teachers, we need all of us to use your gift and I give you an opportunity to join with us, amen, to accomplish those things here on Love Wings. Again, any pastor out there, I don't care who you are, amen, and, and, and you want to contact me or any leaders or anything to help out or come to your church and share, let me know. I'll be there. I want to not just preach this, I want to live it myself, amen. And I, again, uh, ask that uh, even as we wake up every morning and I tell everyone here that we don't know what's going to happen today, but all we can do is ask God to intervene, amen, and to walk with us and to forgive us if anything we've done to anyone, as I say myself, I'll be the first one to say, hey, forgive me if I've done or said anything and, 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 and I, or, uh, anything that you're not pleased with, Lord, and help me to be a better man, a better person. And, and, and to do your will here on this earth. Amen. Again, I send my blessings to everyone. I pray for you and your family, even as I extend my hand now. Father, Lord, I come before you and us here. Let us all extend our hands, amen, to the camera. Father, we just pray. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you know every need that's out there, my God, Lord. Father, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would see to it, Father. You said in your word, even as I read, Lord, that when two or three are gathered and believe, that things will be done. So I'm asking you, Father, in the name of Jesus, to touch those. Maybe there's some that are brokenhearted right now. Maybe there's some that are still dealing with anger. And maybe there's some out there that are dealing with loneliness, Father, Lord. Maybe there's someone that's dealing with rejection, Father, Lord, that has lost hope, Lord. We pray and we intervene for our brothers and sisters that are out there. And again, we come together here binding and loosing this demonic forces that are out there that, that are trying to uh, stir up more trouble, Father, within these young people, Lord, as they're marching. Well, let it be a march of peace, Lord. We have many uh, great men that have spoken of this, Father. Oh, my God, Lord. Martin Luther King and all these brothers that talked about the John F. Kennedy, Father, Lord, all of them, Father, Lord, that from the government to brothers out there that were a testimony of witness as Martin Luther King was that he stood for civil rights, but also, Father, he stood for you, Lord. And we stand here together with our brother, Lord, Father, Lord, and remember everything that he's done, Father, Lord, as we continue, Father, Lord, even as we read your word, Father, Lord, in Matthew 13, 47 and 51, that uh, different uh, uh, colors of fishes and all these things, Father, as uh, a parable sharing about us, Father, Lord, but, Father, I thank you, Lord, that your word still sustains us. I thank you, Lord, that you're still in control. And as we come together in unity and in fellowship, I pray blessings on everyone that's in the, uh, watching this video right now, Lord. Father, as you enter their homes, wherever they're at, their phones and their cars, wherever they might be, I pray 
that you send your angels all around about them, Father, Lord. And I just pray peace. I pray love, Father. And those that don't know you, Lord, that they will surrender their hearts totally to you, Lord. And as you've done for me, you do for them because you love them and you're concerned about everything that's happening. And even as we sang today, we need more love, more power, more of you. I pray that in the name of Jesus. And I say that all and everybody says together with me. I say it loud. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. God bless you.